Hi, Blast Pop here. Today I'm taking a look at the Warhammer 40,000 or 40k Recruit Edition starter set. This is a little outside of my normal wheelhouse as far as wargaming is concerned, but this is something that me and my son have worked on off and on during the years, uh, playing a little bit of Warhammer, not only on the tabletop, but also uh, on computer war games as well. Now, uh, the reason I decided to do a video on this, I picked it up. I picked it up at a reasonable price for a little under $40, and I, th I think it's a really good value for the money, and it's a good entree point, which I really don't need, but it does give you the new 9th edition rules, and I was looking to start an opposition uh, force uh, with the Necrons. So this gives me the perfect opportunity to start my Necron Force and gives me some additional goodies to use with uh, our games. Anyway, so it comes in a relatively flimsy outer box. And it, it shows you what's, what's included. It includes 20 miniatures. They are plastic. For the Space Marines, it's five Assault Intercessors and a Primaris Lieutenant. And for the Necrons, you get 10 Necron Warriors, three Canop Tech... Uh, scarab swarms and a royal warden you also get uh, a manual 64 pages d dice range rulers and a, a play mat to create as a base for your combat as well so actually to what's included in the box um, d6s and there's 10 of those they're of reasonable quality. The bases to put your figures on, typical round ones from GW. The manual. Now this is a nicely illustrated introduction to the series, the game, the hobby as they call it, as well as rules how to paint give you examples of what can be done when you gain additional skills and in, in your painting capabilities battle scenes stuff to get you interested to explain the hobby and fluff to get you to hopefully purchase more if you like what you see um again and they talk about the community to building and painting about the um, hardbound core rule book uh, an example of a idealized game and play the history and this stuff is interesting to read uh, if you like this kind of stuff you might also like their black series uh, which includes the history of the Imperium and the wars and, and so on the Horus Heresy Again, the Imperium, a map of the Imperium and uh, adjoining areas, all to fuel your imagination. Again, it, it's 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 nicely done. It's a semi-glossy paper, and it continues like this for 64 pages, articles about the heroes, how to start playing, how to assemble your figures equipment you might need and is suggested, how to paint them, what colors. Um, I enjoy just painting these things and sometimes not even doing a heck of a lot with them. Otherwise, it's, I find that enjoyable. So there's a value in that as well. Uh, missions. And then they give you the rules as you go along so you can do a simple mission and play almost immediately once you get your figures assembled and hopefully painted but that's not necessary either to get you at least started and you can just paint as as you go along if you so desire so there's a bunch of missions and next steps to get you what you might be interested in to expand what you've got um some information and finally the book so it's nicely bound, perfect bound, rule book. 
Also included are player aid cards, which also include some photos on them and the stuff that you need for just the base game. So all your stats, your power, and so on. Now when it comes to the miniatures, these are the snap-on together, snapped variety, snapped together, snap-on. Well, I probably do want to put a dab of um, cement on them to keep them from falling apart over time or, or repeated usage. And these appear to be some Space Marines. Nice quality. Um, nice detail. Painting them is nice because you get a lot of detail without a lot of effort and with a little extra effort you get a tremendous amount of detail out of the Games Workshop miniatures in general. And I believe one's for the Intercessor and one's for the Necron uh, on this particular sprue. Nicely done. Nice sharp molding. Beautiful detail, and here's the group of 20 Necrons, or the 15 Necrons, I guess it is. And these should be a lot of fun to paint. Additionally included, and I won't unfold it, this is a poster type material, two-sided, which gives you a mat about 22 by 34 to sit down and put your forces on the board and, and battle it out and add some to the visual appeal other than just a tabletop and you got two sides it gives you a sense of what's included also included are two range sticks one for each player to measure your distances and for movement and for combat and also nicely included is a decal or transfer sheet. Additionally, since much of the package probably over time will get tossed away, a way to reuse or increase the value of the package is to give you a building that you can put on your tabletop and use as additional terrain, which is an interesting way to uh, give players something of interest in the battlefield. It's kind of a little bit big and not particularly, you know, interesting in terms of three-dimensional detail, but I like the idea nonetheless. So, additionally, Games Workshop also has like an intermediate and an advanced set. This is the baseline set, and you get more equipment, and you can spend up to like $150 for the uh, overall big starter kit with a hardbound rules book. But for what it is, um, this is nice, and uh, allows you to get into the game with a much lower barrier to entry in terms of cost. Anyway, please comment like, and subscribe. This has been Blast Pop. Bye.